Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to look at how we can use ArcGIS Experience Builder to build a web application that works at the same time with 2D and 3D data, has different sections or pages, and also works well on mobile devices. So in this example, what we are looking at, it's an Experience Builder solution on urban heat and social determinants of health in Greater Montreal. The first page is a very map-centric one. Here we are looking at different classes of uh, uh, average surface temperatures in Greater Montreal, where darker colors simply show higher uh, temperatures. Here we can switch between the 2D and 3D uh, data. So you can see that really we can have both our web maps and web scene in the same application in ArcGIS Experience Builder. So in this case, higher bars simply show higher temperatures. We can switch back to our 2D map, then explore other tabs. The other tab here that we have, it's more like a story map. So it's a scrolling page that we have here. So just Notice that we don't necessarily have to have the same template uh, for our different uh, pages in our web application. First one was a very map centric one. This one is more uh, like a story map with a scrolling page. So first information that we are looking at here, it's urban heat and population density where higher um, population density and temperatures are shown with uh, darker colors. We can scroll down, have our text blocks here, as you see, we can add, uh, uh, and then we can have a 3D map again, if we want, showing the same information here. Colors show uh, temperatures and the height of each uh, bar for each dissemination area show the population density in that area. Again, we can scroll down and look at the relationship between urban heat and low income. In this case, we can zoom in. The size of each circle show the percentage of household with an income less than 35K and the color show the temperature. Instead of using the menu at the bottom, we can also use this menu to switch between different pages. So let's go to the last one. Here we are looking at vulnerability to heat wave data from University of Laval and INSPQ in Quebec. We can zoom in the map and see different categories. We have a filter here, so we can filter for each category and see the charts and all the other data being updated for that specific category. Also, we can have a dynamic button here. And when we click on, we can see the same information. So we are looking at heat wave vulnerability in 3D based on population uh, 2016. So colors show different categories of vulnerability in Montreal and the height of each bar show um, the population living in that area. So let's see how we can build this application in ArcGIS Online. When you are in ArcGIS Online, uh, just make sure you sign in using your login. From the app launcher here, you can find Experience Builder. When you click on that, you will find yourself in this first page where you should choose a template for your uh, Experience Builder application. You can explore different examples on ArcGIS Online or Living Atlas to get your inspiration from there and then choose one of these already uh, ready to use uh, models that have been built by the engineering team or simply choose a blank uh, model and start your application from there. In this case, um, we have done that and as you see, we can add different pages and there again for each page, individually you can choose the template that you want to see for that pages. Make sure you add your data. So here we have all our web maps and web scenes that have been added. 
and then you simply have to add widgets so whether it's a map legend or a list table filter you have many many widgets that you can add you can even have a survey one two three or uh, embed other applications uh, like a dashboard you, if you have a dashboard that you want to embed in your experience builder you can do that um, and for widgets like a filter just make sure that you set the action properly so uh, when you filter everything it's filtered to test that you can use live view so while you are building your app Using the live view mode, you can check whether everything is working, working properly. And finally, you can, when everything is done and you're happy, you can also check whether everything works as it should for other screen sizes. For example, here for an iPad, maybe I may want to uh, change my title to appear more properly here let's look how it looks like um, here on a mobile uh, devices this looks good i have previously configured this but it's again you can just uh, click if something is not the way you want it to be just from auto you can go to custom mode and change uh, the position uh, and uh, the disposition of each of your widgets. So um, in summary, just keep in mind that uh, Experience Builder works very well for mobile uh, devices. It has a very flexible design, so you can put uh, the title, the text blocks, or uh, whatever you want in there and wherever you want in the application. It works very well for 2D and 3D data and you can use those in one single app. All widgets can be uh, interactive and inter interconnected with and work with each other. And also it works very well with other ArcGIS apps such as a server123 or a dashboard.